I'm Roger Peterson at this time of year with what we have going on here, frozen water mains and all kinds of things. You would think the only way to find a boat and be on it is to be south. And that's true, just down to the south end of the city. Some people are taking to life on the water even in these conditions. Andre Brown with their story. Come on aboard. <laughs> it's like camping all year round. I love it. Jerry O'Donnell says living on his boat is the best of both worlds city living right downtown Toronto with a cottage feel. People say, well, isn't it cold? Well, it's cold when you leave the boat and go to your car. Uh, it's the same as if you lived in a half million dollar home in Brampton. You got to get out your front door and get into the driveway to your car. So it's the same thing. Most boaters heat with electricity supplied by the marina, with the costs included in with their slip fees. The costs are the equivalent of a two-bedroom condo. It's all metered, so. Jerry supplements that as well. There we go. Home sweet home. <laughs> and there is no issues with water pipes freezing. This particular boat has uh, a 750 gallon tank here and a 750 gallon tank there. So I fill up maybe once a month and I'm good for either a month to maybe six weeks. Some of the challenges come on the outside though, with many boaters trying to maintain water flow around their boats. It could damage the boats. The boats aren't designed to be in, in, encompassed or encircled by by the ice that's too much too much pressure but diehard boaters equate this hassle with homeowners having to shovel their driveways but uh, the boating uh, and downtown here I mean this is the best place to be but there is one last very important thing in the winter they have to make sure their septic tanks don't freeze you have to deal with a big giant poopsicle and you nice. don't want to do that of course as manageable as winter is down here what all these boaters are really waiting for is for summer to come in the toronto harbor audra brown city news